So now it's time for us to induct our first member of the class of 2012. Let's take a look at this incredible career of Miss Natalia Shaposhnikova of Russia. Blessed with the lines of a Bolshoi ballerina, Natalia Shaposhnikova actually began her sporting career as a rhythmic gymnast, but she soon transitioned to artistic gymnastics where her unique blend of originality, acrobatics, and style served her well. Born June 24, 1961, in Rostov-on-Don, Russia, Shaposhnikova trained at Moscow Dynamo, primarily under the venerable Vladislav Rostorovsky, who also coached Russian legends Ludmila Tereshcheva and Natalia Yurchenko. Shaposhnikova helped the Soviet Union win the 1978 World Championships in Strasbourg, France, where she also won the all-around bronze. The following year, she helped her team play second at the Worlds in Fort Worth, Texas. Shaposhnikova earned a spot on the 1980 Olympic team where she won golds with her team and on the vault. Her use of completely unique sequences on balance beam helped her win a bronze medal in 1980. It was here where she performed one of her signature moves, a one-handed handstand while maintaining the splits. She also earned a bronze for her stylish routine on the floor exercise. Shaposhnikova retired in 1981. But her name lives on in the International Code of Points for her innovative release transition from the low bar to the high bar. This uneven bar skill is still performed today in several variations. She is also credited as the first woman to perform a giant swing on the bars. In 1982, Shaposhnikova married fellow Soviet gymnast Pavel Sut, and today they have their own gym, Gymnastica, in New Jersey. To the gymnastics purists, Natalia Shaposhnikova will always be appreciated as a classic gymnast for her refined technique, balletic style, as well as her innovative gymnastic skills. So joining me on stage, Wendy Jensen from the Board of Directors, and we're grateful for our support from MTM Recognition. They have some beautiful custom necklaces that only the Hall of Fame members get to wear. And let's please welcome Olympic champion Natalia Shaposhnikova. It's very hard to do it after dark, <laughs> but I'll try. Um, prepare the speech. Honorable guests, I would like to start off by thanking the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame, the Board of Directors, and especially Paul Zerd and Bart Connor. We have a wonderful time in Oklahoma City, and for that I thank you very much. Um, it's a big honor for me to be part of such a great group of people who made gymnastics the most amazing sport ever. Um, what could be better than to do gymnastics, travel the world, and meet a lot of people and make a living at the same time? <laughs> and I was lucky to do that. I have always loved gymnastics from the first time I saw it on television. 
It was amazing. It was wonderful. Um, it was unforgettable. The drama, the beauty, the revelation of character. It was fun to watch and even more fun to do it. And the feeling of absolute body control, of everything done right and falling in the right places. To go stronger and faster and then succeed without even expecting to. In my opinion, gymnastics is the most beautiful and demanding sport. It wants specific body type and specific brain, but the most importantly, a great coach. And I was very fortunate and very lucky to have a great coach. His name is Vladislav Starotsky. Yeah. He was a great motivator and very caring, very warm, big guy, big voice, big personality. <laughs> he gave me direction in gymnastics and prepared for the life after. He taught me how to do my best. It's an honor and satisfaction there. And last but not least, for my sanity and ability to start from zero and make it in America, and for my quiet, simple, and happy life, I would like to thank my, co my dear husband of 30 years, Pavel Salt. <laughs> and for my few sleepless nights, I would like to thank my two children, my beautiful daughter Olga and my never born son Paul. <laughs> I thank you for your attention. I thank you for the honor you gave me and showed me today. Love you all. Thank you. Did you get that? She's been married 30 years? She has a 28-year-old daughter who will be married in July. That's not possible. Great to have you here, Natalia. And Pavel's, we competed together in the 80s, and it's terrific to have you in the United States. They've had a successful gym club in New Jersey for many years, and we're grateful for your uh, service to the sport.